Hey mech warriors, how's it going? Alright, so the next one I'm going to play is the Blood Asp. I'm going to play the Prime variant. Um, I was very excited to hear the release of this mech, um, so I ended up doing a little pre-order here. Got all the cool little goodies that comes with it. Um, so on this battle mech I have, um, I have two Gauss rifles, and I have, I believe if memory doesn't fail me, I have four heavy medium lasers. Um, I can actually house more lasers. Uh, I can house, I, think, I believe, two more. I just chose not to, mainly because I'm already hot as it is, um, and I don't have any more room. I'm out of tonnage. Um, it is a good battle mech. I like the blood ass because with the uh, the ballistic mounts are actually located on the very top, um, so I'm able to shoot over like obstacles and stuff like that. Where I'm, or you've probably seen other videos where I'm having to shoot or maneuver around an obstacle to make a to good a, a target engagement. With the blood ass, I'm able to actually uh, have a better advantage of shooting somebody with it, so it's cool. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna bring it out to the field right now, and I'm gonna pull it up right here. And per usual, I put the the clan wolf decals on, and the clan wolf color of I believe I use I chose gray this time. There's my Gauls Rifles right up here on top, and then my two heavy mediums on both arms. I'm actually able to put another one here, but I chose to uh, not utilize it. It's a little, it's about 10 tons less than the Atlas, if you see my Atlas video. I do have a little bit of room. I could put in a laser there. Um, but for now, this is what's been working out for me. I also have a missile mount here. I haven't used it. Mainly because I need I need room for my gauze, and I also need room for more gauze ammo. So, all right, let's take her to the field. Oh, it's 50-50. Oh, we're playing Conquest. That sucks. I was very, very excited to, to see the Blood Asp uh, when it first came out. Um, and I had a lot of fun playing it. I play the, I have the hero build as well. So the package I purchased was the, uh, it comes with three normal variants and then, it, and then I upgraded it to a hero. Um, uh, that one is actually has a little bit more hard points. Um, still a lot of fun to play. I play that one more than I've done the prime, but this one isn't bad. I like this one. And here we go again. Also, too, uh, compared to the Atlas, going at 48.6 kph, I'm going at 64.8, which is definitely much better. That is the speed I'd like to do with my Atlas, because it's, it's just too slow. Here's another Blood Asp, the Bravo variant. And I'm running, I, I think I already mentioned it, but I'm running the Prime variant, which is, the, is the, usually the first one. And we have what well, looks like five assault mechs on our side, so that's a lot of tonnage. Which may be bad for our opposing team. And the fun part is with this one is I got dual gauze, so I can I'm gonna drill somebody 
Once I get a good clean shot, it's just gonna be gonna be real Sounds fun. Good. As long as they don't miss. There's a sass waiting right over Target the bridge acquired. there. Yup. Target Under destroyed. Behind me. Target acquired. Target Charlie center torso. Target destroyed. Charlie's down. Help upper. There's no one here at Theta. Roger, I'm going to redirect myself to uh, Theta. Target yep. acquired. I'm right behind you guys. It's got a light right above us. Pushing in right now. Let's push. Push Theta. I just slammed it a zeal with a uh, gauze. Very satisfying. They're flipping All of them. Golf, golf, golf. Plus one of their assaults. Damn it. Bam! Hit him up with that gauze. Beautiful. I'm not sure if I hit him. I think the object got in the way first. Going after... An Arctic Wolf could be killed pretty quick here. We got... Mess my gauze. Ah, he got right in front of me. Get away from uh, guys! Don't shoot. Try not to shoot in front of this guy. Walk right in front of my gauze. He would have been, he would have been killed, or at least badly damaged. I'm gonna push up and target Aquila right now. Kilo's down. Target Fox Trust and a torso. He blew up. Good job, you guys. You guys are good. I think we might have overtunned them. Gamma, gamma. <laughs> plastic, plastic gamma, gamma, gamma. Yeah, good job, guys. That was uh, solid. Very, very, very good. Solid. Our are I think we had the Bruiser Brigade. We had a, a whole lot of assaults. Yeah. I think we overtunned them. Yeah. Confidence. I think it was confidence. <laughs> Tonnage doesn't hurt. That is also true. Kappa is under control. To be quite perfectly honest, I'm kind of tired there of being overtunned. Lima, He's heading for the top. Where what coordinates? Quick red. Theta. Is it Theta? Roger, nope. I see him on on radar. Beautiful. GG. Very fucking awesome. Good job, guys. Three hundred damage, almost three hundred damage done. Minimal dodge taken. 
I'm just uh, pretty stoked that I got that good kill. I got seven assist, one kill. And I believe it was a K. No, actually, it was a killing blow. I de developed that killing blow uh, with the twin gauze I had. So it's pretty devastating. So there you have it all. There's my uh, Blood Ass Prime. I like the Twin Gauze action. It is beautiful, especially if you hit your target, especially if their armor is getting pretty worn down. I mean, you could just punch it straight through and it just does, does the damage. Pretty awesome shit. Um, all right, anyway, I'm gonna move on to a different mech and uh, I'll see you guys here in a little while. Good luck, mech warriors.